Wake up, dog. No, I hate it. I just want to sleep. Hi. Hi. I'm going to make room in that bed. This mess. Hmm. What? I usually would sit out here if I do sit out here. That's... Wow. A big long pillow. I haven't seen that before. It's so colorful. I've never seen that pillow before. Huh? I've never seen that pillow before. Oh, that pillow out there. Another white one out there. Too. Wonder whose hey, that I was. I mean, it brings out the colors. That's for sure. <laughs> I don't know whose that was before. Hey, kitty. Yours now, if you want. Mine. Oh. Some white one is Corey. No, that would be mine. <laughs> just kidding. Some white one? Just kidding. I don't know who they are. Insert little drum audio here. <laughs> huh, Chasey Weezy. Come on, Chasey Weezy. Yeah. Too bad we don't have uh, fries or anything. I think we, I, oh, actually, I do think we have chips. Jalapeno. Doritos type of chips. It says it's gluten free, but I don't notice the difference between that and regular, to be honest. What? It's still good. Ow, 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 ow. Wow. <coughs> My lower back has been killing me ever since, like, not too long ago. Like, I don't know when it started, like, probably a week or so ago. My lower back right here on the left side has been hurting me. I think I've been laying on the wrong side or, like, laying wrong when I'm sleeping and I don't realize it. But it's kind of annoying and it hurts like crazy and it sucks. I don't even know anymore. It really, it really hurts. Ow! <laughs> so, today is, I was gonna say Wednesday. Thursday! Yesterday was Wednesday. I was off yesterday. Uh, yesterday was Wednesday. Uh, today's Thursday. Anyway, <laughs> I'm just, uh, preparing for work right now. If you haven't seen yesterday's video, or n not yesterday's video. Should I say yesterday's video? If this isn't coming out yet? Um, or previous video, I should say. Because I have no idea. Because I'm really busy all the time. I have a full-time job, so I don't know when I'll have the opportunity to really upload or edit the videos or whatever. But the video was basically, like, saying it's official. Like, meaning, like, oh, it's November, so it's no shave November, whatever. No NUT November. Yeah, I failed that. So, if you haven't noticed that I've shaved, I don't like having a beard. I said that in the previous vlog. That I don't like having a beard. It doesn't look good on me. I don't look good with a mustache. I think it looks stupid. I think just because like I don't I, I have the patches right here and the, like missing hairs right here like there's no connection and there's no hair right here so like guys with full beards when they look good with full beards they have hair lines like right here mine is way down here and it's like really like it's uneven and so I that's why I trim about and make it look at least a little bit dis distant Decent! I can't talk, <laughs> but decent. Um, yeah, uh, so I have been playing a little bit of uh, Life is Strange. Uh, I've taken a little bit break of uh, from Modern Warfare, uh, just because I haven't really been playing very well. Uh, so if I'm not doing well on a multiplayer game, I, I shouldn't just keep playing because <laughs> it's just I don't even enjoy it at this point if I don't even do well enough. So. What's the point of playing the game if you don't do well? So guys, I was on my break, right? And I was finding out something on Google. I was like, I don't know what I was doing. I don't know. Not Google, but YouTube. And I was finding out something about what I was doing wrong with my phone. And I have an iPhone 10 XS Max. It's an XS Max. So what I've been doing wrong, apparently, like you're not supposed to charge your phone while you're sleeping. I guess because like whenever it overcharges, it kind of fries the phone eventually and it's not good for it. So, I don't know what to say about that. I don't know if that's real or not, but I do have that light on my playlist. So if you look at my playlist, updated playlist by now, by the time this video uploads, you're gonna be able to see it. So check that video out. I might even put the link in the description below about it. I don't know. So I'm in, in the description of this video, it's by uh, Brightside. So it reads, it's a basic thing. You want your phone fully charged in the morning so it'll last through the entire day, which 
that's what I do. I leave my phone on charge when I'm sleeping, so that way when I do wake up, I can be on my phone and do whatever. You know, watch videos and just do whatever on my phone. Call, text, whatever. Even with cutting edge smartphones that can charge to max capacity in a matter of an hour, which mine doesn't really do that, there's no guarantee that you'll remember to charge it in the morning while you're in a sleepy daze. And that's true. Uh, sometimes when my phone's at like 20 something percent, I'll go to sleep, put this on charge before I do go to sleep. Go to sleep, wake up the next morning, and it's barely at 60 or 70%. I guess it's true. Your phone does, like the battery gets fried, I guess, or it just messes up or something. So, the advice to leave your phone unplugged during the night may seem risky. The worst fear here is that your phone will charge down while you sleep and won't see the dawn of a new day to wake you up like you're used to. But still, you can't go against the word of science. Leaving your smartphone on a charger is bad for it. So, on the summary, um, it says, even though lithium based batteries are rechargeable by nature and made with this process in mind, they are highly vulnerable to constant interactions with high voltage electricity like the outlets of your house. There are automatic switches on your phone that will stop the charging process the very moment it reaches 100%. But when your phone naturally goes down to 99%, the charging will start all over again. Good, high quality chargers have special chips in them that prevent overcharging, so it's advisable not to skim on chargers. This way you won't spend much more money on a new battery or entire smartphone too soon. Overall, it's also advisable to use good quality tech when it comes to something as expensive as smartphones these days. Heat is bad for batteries, which means like, if I have my phone on, or like I'm watching a video or I'm playing music, which I do that at work a lot. Like every time I work, I bring my speaker, I bring my phone, and I listen to music. Whether I'm in the truck unloading it or someone else is doing it, I have my music playing. So I'm usually, I'm literally using Bluetooth and that drains my battery. Not too quickly, but it does drain it quicker than it would be if I wasn't using it, obviously. <sighs> it says heat is bad for batteries, that's why it's so harmful to your phone if you leave it in a close car, which I've done at work. I've done that at work. It sucks for getting your phone in the car. I've done that numerous times. I can't even count how many times I've done that, especially in the middle of the summer. It is insane. Like, luckily my phone turns off and it says it's overheated and I have to wait for it to cool down for me to turn it back on. You've probably heard something about fully depleting the charge of your f smartphone and then charging it to the maximum capacity. This is fair for devices from the past decade. <laughs> Remember Blueberry? Those little, I wouldn't say flip up screens, but the ones that just slide up, I guess, and then has that like keyboard thing. I remember those days. Any modern lithium ion battery won't get lazy like a cadmium based one. I have no idea what that is. I have no idea what those are. I'm just reading it off the summary. <laughs> but it'll be able to charge in a matter of minutes and last for more than one day. One of their new ideas is to make battery chargers that can produce energy from a Wi-Fi signal. And how about charging a phone with a sound? Hmm, interesting. Charge. It charges. Using piezo piezoelectric principles, tiny and no generators that will be able to transform the surrounding sound to electric power. Scientists from Japan are in the middle of a decades-long study that will allow replacing lithium-ion batteries with sodium. Interesting. Another idea is to use literal sand in batteries. So you gotta go in the desert and get grab sand and put it in your battery. And then that charges your phone. Can't think. Can't take things too literal. Not quite literal though. Exactly. As this battery will use silicon, the main component of the sand. But for now, the best course of action is to use good quality charging equipment. Keep your smartphone out of the heat, and most importantly, keep the charge in it between 30% and 90%. Good luck. I can't keep an eye on my phone 24-7. Come on. You're insane. Yeah, I just figured I would talk about my phone, talk about cell phones and smartphones in general, so yeah, I got off work pretty late, so I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, be sure to drop a like down below and subscribe to the channel if you are new. Always remember to remain positive, keep that beautiful smile on your face. I mean, like this, not creepy like. It's been a breeze, and I'm out. Peace.